Right, so there's really nothing better to do at 2 o'clock in the morning than to talk about the fundamental trig identities, part 2. And uh, we talked about it a little bit before that, that there are a number of these identities, um, these fundamental identities, and they come into kind of three groups. And the first is the reciprocal identities, and we discussed that in an earlier video. And then we just talked about the tangent and cotangent identities. So this morning I want to talk about the Pythagorean identities. I'm just going to prove this out. And before I do, I just want to answer the question, and maybe the question is why? Why do you care? Uh, because we're going to be asked to prove some identities. Uh, it's going to make a ton of sense, I promise. This is just kind of the early part of trig, and we have to kind of get through this. So what we're going to do is start with this right triangle, and let we're just going to, here's the Pythagorean theorem, isn't it? We're going to use this right triangle to prove that. I want to remind you that B is opposite if this is theta. This is adjacent, and this is hypotenuse. So all I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to divide everything by C. So here I'm going to divide everything by C. And stay with me for a second. I'm going to divide everything by C, but I'm going to keep it like this. Yes? And like this. Um, and then, of course, we have the commutative property of addition. So if you don't mind... B over C, opposite over hypotenuse, is sine, isn't it? So this is sine right here, isn't it? And it's squared. B over C, opposite over hypotenuse, is sine. So that gives us sine squared theta. Are you all right? Is that okay with you? Um, and then this one, we have A over C. Well, what's adjacent over hypotenuse? Excellent, right? That is, right? We can agree that's cosine, isn't it? Cosine squared theta. Uh, just to be clear, this squared right here is this one right here. And this squared right here is this one right here. Um, when you square something like cosine, you don't, you don't write it cosine theta squared. It's cosine squared theta. It's just a, it's just a formality here, okay? And then, of course, C over C is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So there's my proof of that identity. Okay, let's move on to the, the second identity. Hopefully, this is making some sense to you. Um, hopefully, what you're going to do is you're just going to keep kind of chugging along with me on this and take my word for it that this is all going to pay off huge dividends to you later. Right now, I can tell you, like, who cares? It's going to pay off because you're going to be asked to, in trig very, very soon to use these identities, and you have to kind of know why these are true. Here's the next identity. Here's the next identity right here. And you say, well, how would we get that identity? And that identity is extracted from kind of just doing another little piece of algebra here. And that piece of algebra that you're going to do here is you're just going to take this Right, we, we already agreed on this, right? We set this up, right? We proved this. So cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, right, is equal to 1. Now, all we're going to do here is we're going to divide everything by cosine, right? So we're going to divide this whole thing by, whoops, by cosine squared theta. So look what that would do. That would give us cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta, right? That's this piece. That's this piece right here, isn't it? Right? Right? Plus, that this plus sign right here is this plus sign here. Then we have sine squared theta, sine squared theta over cosine squared theta, right? Is equal to Right, and just, I'm sure you're getting this, but that's this piece right here, isn't it? I'm just breaking this fraction up. And then this equal sign right here is this one right here. And then what we're going to get is 1 over cosine squared theta. 1 over cosine squared theta. Okay? So just do keep doing our algebra here. Again, it's based on this same Pythagorean identity. Cosine squared over cosine squared, of course, is 1. Now we have to go back and we have to remember, right? We have to remember those reciprocal 
I'm sorry, we have to go back and remember the, the tangent and cotangent identities. In sine squared theta, I'm sorry, sine of theta over cosine of theta is tan theta, isn't it? So what I'm suggesting to you is this. You can look at this this way. This piece right here, you can look at it this way. Sine of theta, whoops, sine of theta over cosine theta, whole thing squared, right? Because we know that exponents are distributive over division, aren't they? And we know that sine of theta over cosine of theta, given the tangent and cotangent identities, is equal to tan of theta. So tan theta, right? This squared right here is this one right here, okay? And then we know from the reciprocal identities that one over cosine theta is secant theta. So we know that this is secant squared theta. How do we know that? Because we memorized those identities, right? Is secant squared theta. All right. All I'm doing is proving this. This is really going to pay off for you. I swear it is. Because very, very soon, you're going to be asked to show that that an equation is an identity. You're going to be asked to use the fundamental identities. Um, this verifying identity is, is done like a big puzzle. You just have to know which pieces are interchangeable. Please take my word for it. This is going to make sense. It's going to pay off great dividends to you, so I'm hoping you're staying with me. So here's the last one right here. And the last one is this. This is that 1 plus cotan squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. What are we going to do? Start in the same place, right? We're going to start in the same place saying that sine squared theta, sine squared theta, that's the first identity we had, right? Plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Now in the last example, we divided by cosine. So what are we going to divide by in this one? We're going to divide by sine squared theta. And again, sine squared theta over sine squared theta is 1. This plus sine is this one. Cosine squared theta over sine squared theta is cotan, right? Squared theta is equal to, and what's 1 over sine squared theta? 1 over sine squared theta, right? 1 over sine squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Please don't give up on this. This is something that you can really do. Of the fundamental identities, there are eight, and I think I've covered all of them with you in the last couple of videos. you got to keep watching the videos. you got to keep working through the problems. I'm going to come up with some examples in the next couple of videos and, and go through how we're going to use this. So, again, I'm going to go back and remind you that this is something... Um, these eight identities, the reciprocal identities have three, the tan identities, there are two different identities, and the Pythagorean identities obviously have the three we went over tonight. You can make flashcards and then and then uh, use your camera on your iPod to, to take pictures of those flashcards. It will be one way to help you memorize them. It's This is going to come in really handy, so please hang in there with me.